Okay, this demo I'll uh, show you how to use the InDesign connector to um, to publish a, a document in InDesign. Uh, adjust it a bit and then do republish so uh, that you can actually see the changes. First thing we need to do is um, log into Sitecore. So I'll select one of these uh, these available panels. It doesn't really matter which one. And you can drag these things away as well. And then click the side panel menu and then log into Sitecore with using your user credentials. And once we're logged in, it starts loading the different libraries. And then I'll switch to the library browser where I have a list of my existing projects and what I want to do is uh, open this Nikem demo projects folder select the Nikem catalog and drag this across to my project panel it then loads the project and I can start working with this uh, project I'll just click open the structure just to show you uh, what is inside so we have a, a document and inside the document we have uh, four pages and if I briefly switch to Sidecore and actually show you that we have exactly the same structure in here uh, Nikem catalog click open the structure and there we have our four pages again <coughs> where for each page we are basically storing all the information as it is fetched from InDesign and pushed back into Sitecore. So I'll switch back to InDesign and the first thing I want to do is publish this document. So therefore I'll select this uh, document note and click this publish button and it shows me a dialog where I select in this case document full and click OK. It generates the document uh, inside InDesign, uh, so it fetches all the specifications from uh, from Sitecore. It also fetches the content, and then compiles the document on the client side. Once it's done, and depending on settings as well, it generates um, well, it generates PDF, or in this case, it generates a flash document as well that has some interactivity uh, things in it. So I can just click and browse through this document like this, where we have these uh, these buttons also available. Uh, if we click on these things, we will land on a web page, and you can imagine with the Sitecore e-commerce functionality, you, you could even uh, well place this product in a basket so the customer can uh, order products straight from this document. So I'll click this one this way, and switch back to InDesign, and uh, have a look at what we have just published. So this is this is what the document looks like, and well, you, as an InDesign user, you can change the different things, and you can apply different styles, and, and change the text boxes, etc. Uh, but in this case, I just want to assign a different product to this specific uh, snippet, as we call it. So uh, in order to do so, I'll select this snippet item and uh, I want to switch to the content browser and inside the structure I'm looking for the product assortment uh, so let's see what is in here and I want to use for example the um, well, let's use the D200 product and assign it to this specific snippet so what I'll do I'll uh, select it over here and I drag it across to the snippet and it then assigns the content item. Do a bit of refresh just to show you the, uh, the name inside the structure as well and then publish uh, this, this specific snippet. So with the snippet selected I can select the publish button. I could also select the page button and then select the publish button. Uh, doesn't really matter, you can do that on any level. Uh, the difference is, of course, that well, when you select the snippet button and then publish, it only publishes the snippet. 
if you do that on page level it republishes the entire page so let's just see what happens so now we got the uh, D200 product in place um, uh, so this, this basically shows you a scenario how you can adjust uh, by selecting the content items from Sitecore, how you can adjust the documents and make it more a personalized document or specific catalog. 